What up, people? It's been a while since I made one of these videos, and we're gonna be doing some toy reviews. And you know, while we're at it, we might as well just do like a bunch of toy reviews. So what are we doing? We're doing a bunch of Flash stuff, because that's my favorite character. So these have been sitting in a bag for quite a while. Oh man, like it's kind of embarrassing, really. So we're gonna in, we're gonna be reviewing a bunch of Flash stuff. So. We're gonna be a little bit faster because I don't want you to guys to sit through a video and I'll put the time codes in the description below so that you can just skip to what you want to skip to. Uh, we're doing three of them. So we're doing this Total Justice Flash. Um, this one's cool, has armor. You know, I got this for like, I think $10 at, the, at a toy fair or something like that. And another one I'm gonna be getting that opening is uh, this Flash, the, the uh, what is it, John Wesley ship one? Like the, the original, yeah, yeah, John Wesley ship. I've never seen the show before and it looks god awful, it looks terrible. I still haven't seen it. I probably should watch it because I'm a big Flash fan, but you know. And the last one that we're gonna do is, this one's pretty cool. It's uh, the Flash from SHF Figure Arts to Machi Nation's Bandai. Okay. So we got over here is the first toy that we're gonna open up. It's the Total Justice, the Flash from probably the Looks like it's a comic book, but here's the outside of the box over here. Looks pretty sweet, looks pretty standard 90s, and of course it's from Kenner, if you see that over there. I don't know if you can, oh, yeah, there you go, Kenner. Kenner, my favorite, Kenner. And you know, it has that classic, awesome, collect all of them on the back kind of look, so yeah, there you go. Okay, so opening up over here, we have the Flash Total Justice. And you know, it's classic 90s kind of thing. Not much articulation going on over here. You can move the head around. You can move one, just the arms around really. So there's really just like one position that you can have. It's not even like a running position, which is kind of lame. Like that's what, how you should run right there. You know, it's classic 90s kind of stuff where you really just kind of, the great thing about these is that they actually stand, which is pretty nice, you know? So there you go, there's that. Uh, kind of accessories does he have? So, well he comes with these guys over here. Put them out. Um, he has like, he has like the stick of this one here is that he has like armor and stuff. So I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So there's the, there's the front piece of the armor there. There's like some other stuff. This looks like it glows on like his leg right there. So it's pretty, you know, another, maybe like another leg item over here. Then I don't know what these are. It's like, like wings or thing. I don't, I don't know what they are. <laughs> So let's, so let's put them on. Let's put them on the Flash. All right, so it took a while, but here is the Flash from Total Justice. Here's the back over here. So like overall, like if, if I was a kid, this is this is the stuff, man. This is really great. This is the S-H-I-T. I mean, like it's, it's cool, man. Like uh, it has these pseudo kind of wings over here on his boots. So it kind of like mimics that that look of his boots, which I think in the original costume, like, th does he really need those wings in the boots? Not really, I mean, he doesn't really need these things on his head either. Um, then he comes with the, I don't know what these are for, but I guess they're here just to make it look like he's running really fast. They kind of go out, don't know what that's all about. It's a little total justice symbol over here too, and these wings are a nice little touch, right? They, they help him make go, they're like speed bullets. They, they go a little faster, so. They're a pretty cool find for $10, and I got to open it up, which is really just like the kind of the, the shtick of opening up old toys, reeling those childhood memories. So this one's actually pretty cool. Um, 10 bucks, I'd say, is a fair price for this, just because it's an old nostalgia piece. Like any more than that, I really wouldn't pay for it. And I think I see these on eBay actually go up pretty high up too. I don't, I don't really see the appeal. I guess if you're a collector, then you want to collect all of them. Um, other stuff in the series over here, there's a, there's this Batman with flight armor and glider cape. There's a Robin, Aquaman, there's Green Lantern, and there's cool dark side with Omega Effect Capture Claw. So that's enticing. That should really be red, but whatever. He, he looks actually, if you ever want to notice that dark side looks really, really ugly. I mean like, what the hell, those are like <laughs> past knee high boots. It's a really ugly character. <laughs> All right, next thing that we're gonna open up is this Flash from Mattel Multiverse, the John Wesley Ship one. And yeah, there it looks in the box. Looks, looks okay in the box. Like from far away, it looks nice. I like it because it's elusive. It's been kind of like hard to, to find, so to speak. Got this for GameStop at $27. 
when I posted this in the toy group, people were like, what, 20, 27 bucks. And I was like, whatever, it's the flash. I got like a bunch of these to try and resell, but uh, they didn't really sell, so I just returned them all. Um, on the back over here, it's pretty lackluster. It's really just him over here. And it reads, in the 1990s TV series, John Wesley Ship portrays Barry Allen, a forensic scientist working at the police crime lab of Central City. After a chemical accident, he becomes the Scarlet Speedster, the iconic hero, the Flash. So there it is over there. And it looks, looks weird because of this weird shape. You know, they're trying to make it fancy. All right, so getting him out of the package right over here. There he is. There's the John Wesley Ship Flash. And before we get to him, I want to take a look at these accessories. So let me bring this stuff up. So it looks like over here you get this cool little thing on the back where you can put them in kind of a cool hall of, uh, hall of Heroes kind of pose. And you have this base over here. And this base here was actually kind of interesting because the bottom actually comes off like so. You know, and it's a, I think it's, you can do two things. So you can actually store some of the other accessories within it, but also when you put the pegs in here, it comes with these pegs over here that you can use to kind of pose them. Uh, once it goes down, it's kind of hard to get out with your fingers. So you can actually just kind of poke it out over there. You know, so it's a pretty good idea that they did that kind of double purpose so that you could have, uh, put the accessories in there. So this goes like this, for example. There you go, there's the pose, and then you can, of course, stand him up like so. Now, one weird thing also is that it came with this dude here, and what it's supposed to do is, if you put it in here, you can actually put the flash, you put this in his back, there's a hole there, and I guess you can put him in like hovering poses, right? But then the problem is that because of the hook, well, now you actually can't even clear that distance to put the backing in, so. Kind of interesting design that they chose to do with with the hook over there. Um, and you can have them jumping. That's cool, I guess. In terms of the accessories, it comes with a bunch of pegs. Bring that up for the close-up over here. It comes with these pegs over here that you can actually just put in those little holes so that you can actually stand them up, which is a nice touch. Like, they don't really do a lot of peg stuff these days, and that's actually pretty nice sweet. And of course, there's the accessory, the, the hands that you can change out over here, so. <clears throat> This close-up front focuses. There's some running hands. There's some uh, Ninja Turtle hands over here. Uh, there you go. Those are the hands. So, but let's take a look at the figure now. Now, in terms of the figure, I didn't really think it would look that good when it, in the box when I when I took it out. But actually, this figure is really good. Like Mattel did a fantastic job with this action figure. The um, the poseability is exactly what I wish the the DC icons or the multiverse toys would be. So. You know, of course, DC for some reason has the DC. Well, they had the DC icons, and they're coming with the essentials now. But they have they have Mattel making toys, and they make their own toys, which is kind of confusing. But in terms of the posability, it's really good. I'll just walk you through what it does have. So, the the head sculpt over here is is quite nice. Like I thought he looked really stupid at first, but the paint job, the eyes that they do on it, like the the um. What is it the uh, the the, the uh, I don't know the wings the, the Mercury thing like coming over here looks quite good and like even his symbol looks really nice too and around here there's a hole in his back that's where you can put that insert that thing it's got that DC imprint on that butt over there too and uh, in terms of the posability well the arm has like a full full on reach out for that you can move it all around easily. And it's tight about this is that there's a little bicep twist here too that you could do. And there's double jointed elbows also, so you can really get that in there. Twist on the fist here. And also there is the, uh, you can even like angle those in and out like so. So really good in the arms in terms of the torso. There's the, the now great ab crunch that they're putting in a lot more toys these days. And his ab crunch is, Fairly good. Like if you see that thing, you know, you can get a nice little S curve going on and a lot of stuff there. You can also twist like so. In terms of his legs, the thing is that with DC icons, the legs are the main problem for me for them. But this one here, Mattel did a great job because it really feels solid on the legs. There's a thigh twist over here too, so you can really twist that thigh. Double jointed uh, knees over here, which is great. And also the boots, the boots twist, which is essential 
the ankle. There's a great pivot right over there too for up and down. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything for you to roll it, but you can at least move it down. And then there's the, the old fashioned to uh, toe, toe uh, articulation. So overall, this is, this is a great figure. I'm very surprised. Mattel did a fantastic job. If you can find this for a regular price, I'd recommend it quite a lot. So there you go. And the last one we're gonna open up is this Flash from Tamashi Nations. If you see over here, kind of like in the corner, we can see Wonder Woman. So this is the same line as, as, as the Flash. And I don't know if I'm gonna be collecting the other ones um, because these are pretty expensive. Like it's like 60 bucks for these. Uh, so, you know, it adds up if you try and collect all of them. So yeah, there's the back of it. Has some cool poses that it could possibly do over here. Uh, we'll try to do all of them, just like we did in the old Wonder Woman video. If you want to check that out, check out the link above or whatever it is in the corner. Let's open it up. All right, so here is the Flash from Tamashi Nation's Bandai SHF Figure Arts. Man, they gotta, they gotta really consolidate that name, guys. Um, out of the box, this is great. I gotta say, like for the Wonder Woman action figure, it looked, it, I was really hyped about it and I got it right away. And when I opened it, and when I opened it, it wasn't, I was a little disappointed. I mean, it's a great figure, but it's, it was okay. This figure over here, you know, I saw the pictures, I got hyped again, I bought it. And this has the opposite impression for me. So before we get into that, I just wanna show the accessories and there's not very many accessories. Um, it's mostly just these. Uh, the accessories are mostly just these these hands over here. There's a, a you know a shaking hand here, and then, oh there it goes by. And there's a there's a running hand over here. So only basically just four four hand change outs over there. Uh, not very many accessories. It's that's that's really it, guys. Um, with the Wonder Woman, you had a sword, you had a shield, a lasso, you had a different face. This one here, it's it's really just just him, just Barry. Um, let's get a close up here so we can see the detail. So uh, there, there we go. All right. So there's the face over here. It looks quite good. I got to say, like the the it's, it's really nice. The the armor impression is fantastic. Like the the color is really good. They got the lines and everything over here. Uh, great detail. And they even have like a you can see this here. Let me see if I can focus that there. So if you can see over here, there's different textures to the armor too, like there's a little bit of a cross, cross hatch almost over here. And they get the lines really good over here, all over his armor, so on his back, looks really fantastic. And on that ass, check out that ass. Look, look at that cross, the cross is on there, fantastic. Like this is, the detail on this action figure is really nice, I gotta say like, Bandai usually does a great job on their figures and the Justice League, like, getting this Flash makes me actually want to start collecting the other ones, but they're they're expensive, so I might wait till there's like better deals. They usually come out for 60 and uh, Supreme Collector sells these for 55 usually on the first, the first, uh, the first like day or week that it's around. So if you ever want to get some good deals and you're in the Bay Area, uh, you check out Supreme Collector. He does, um, he meets up with you, cool guy. Um, but I mean, in terms of his posing, let's check out his articulation. There's the head, of course, that you can move around and there's a little bit of like tilt on the head too, which is really nice. Um, in terms of the, in terms of like the shoulders, it actually, it, it's really nice. There's a really got a lot of good roll. And I mean, like, look how far that, that arm can bend over. And that's the kind of stuff I'm always looking for, for flash action figures. You got to have articulation because he's one of those characters that were, he's very nimble and you got to catch that. You got to match that really well. Like same thing over here, really great. Um, torso is, is, especially with Wonder Woman, I love it. And it's the same kind of thing here. There's great pivot action that you have on his torso. You can do a little dance over there. And the legs over here, this is kind of strange because a lot of other action figures, they have, um, they have thigh swivels over here, like if you, I mentioned that before, but over here there's no no way really to move it. But I will say that with the pivot inside of here, his leg really goes up. Like, I don't know how they're able to do it without sacrificing the quality of the product, but like, check out how high that thigh can go. Like usually, if there's no pivot, you can really just like go like right there. Like on the DC Icons figures, that's as far as it goes, but this goes pretty high up. And then the double and the double jointed knees, great touch. And if you, if you go a little bit further, there's also the um, ankles. They 
they they are on a roller, so you can move that around. The uh, there's also the tool action and the toe action. So, you know, overall, this is this is a great figure. Like, I was a little disappointed with Wonder Woman, and I, I like her just fine now. But this one here, I'm pretty ecstatic about. I tried out some posing, and the poses on this that you can get are fantastic. Really good action figure. One thing I will say about about this figure though, versus the one one figure that I have, is that for her joints, unfortunately, because she shows skin, you can see like the joints move around on her shoulders. But over here, because he's wearing armor, it does a great job. They do a great job of like really hiding that joint by just adding that mesh, mesh looking over here. You know, so it just looks really just it's like like it's part of the um, of the actual action figure. So. This is, this is really nice. Love it. Love this one a lot. So there you go, guys. There's my review of the Flash X3, whatever Flash action figures. On the, on the left, we got that Total Justice Flash from like the 2000s, maybe late 1990s. We got the, the 90s-esque, but made this year, John Wesley ship Flash. And we have the Tamashi Nations from Japan, 2018, 2017 Justice League inspired toy from Tamashi Nations. And it's kind of cool because you can actually kind of see like the progress of action figures a little bit through the years. I mean, that's the old American action figure that's expected back in the 1990s, 2000s era. And this over here is, it's uh, the it's it's like the look of the 90s, but it's the it's like what we come to expect now from American toy makers. And this is the Japanese uh, expectations for toys these days. And of course, like the weakest one is obviously the Kenner one because there's no posability but it's a great nostalgia. The John Wesley ship one, I gotta say like Mattel has been really dying a lot when it comes to their toys. Uh, there's, a, there's the jobs that they're laying people off because of um, American politics and all of that to stay afloat. There is um, a lot of stuff with that. But in terms of the quality of it, this is probably one of Mattel's best action figures. Um, it's a great price point too. It's like 20 to 30 bucks. So if you want something that's, pos that's posable, looks good, has a good face sculpt, then absolutely, that's a must to get. And the Tamashi Nation, like honestly, I'm, I'm biased, guys. I love the Tamashi Nation action figures. They, the Japan imports really kill it with their action figures. There's a, lo a lot of love and care that they put into their properties. And this is nothing short of that. They do a great job over there in Japan. In terms of comparisons, just want to show you really quick the size of everything. So in terms of Marvel Legends stuff, this is a little cheat. This is actually Wolverine. He's usually a little shorter than most of the stuff. And this is more comparable with the, uh, I'm going to move this Flash over here aside for now, but this is more comparable with, uh, with um, Flash from Mattel. So Hasbro versus Mattel. Obviously, um, as you can see, Wolverine's missing a hand. I don't know where that hand is. It's somewhere. Uh, it doesn't matter though, because I have two of these. One in the box for moments like this. Um, so if you were to look at this here, of course, these the double jointed arm here to really get that going on over here. If you look at Wolverine's, Wolfie's, well, it's better if we could just compare this arm actually. Uh, same kind of idea. So you can bend it pretty good. Wolverine and, and Spider-Man, they always have like the, the back Kind of muscle over here but while the one thing i want to draw a comparison to is the thigh swivel a lot of um a lot of action figures from dc they don't have a thigh swivel you know like wolverine has it so you can get these really great dynamic you know stances stuff like that uh wolverine is one of my favorite ones to pose because they always always have great articulation on him um the one cool thing about this flash one is because he has the toe guy here you can really just kind of if you can see that, you can pose them like pretty, pretty good like that and get like the same kind of action kind of thing. Oh no. So like the, the posability of this one here, just next to Marvel, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Definitely like this, this action figure from Mattel, it's, I gotta applaud them. Like, I don't know if they're listening to people, if they're testing stuff, but if they can continue to make stuff in, in this quality, um, even at that price point, I wouldn't mind as, as long as we can get the properties uh, at, in a good quality control position. Now, if we were to look over at the Tamashi Nations one over here, there's a little bit of room. We're gonna put some Wonder Woman comparison right over here. So, uh, Wonder Woman, it's about the same height, which is kind of annoying, really. Like, I don't, I, I think in the movie, they're about the same height also. Um, but I mean, it's just kind of like, I wish he was taller because 
Wonder Woman is an Amazon and Barry is in, in the movie is a kid. So it wouldn't make more sense if she was buffer and maybe that much taller. Um, but there's the comparison over there. They, they both look fantastic together and I kind of want to get that Batman and Superman that came out, but we'll see, maybe we'll get a better, better sale. So in terms of hosability though, for both of them, uh, Wonder Woman also does not have a thigh swivel. So they, they have that there. This is the thing I was talking about because you can see her joints. It looks kind of awkward when you, you roll her arms around, so. One last comparison over here, guys, before we close out this video, is the DC Icons uh, figure over here. So this is from the DC Icons line, and it's about the, it's it's like the same size as it says, the Tomashi Nation's Flash, actually. Um, I, this is more comparison, more for, I'd say, probably the, the uh, Mattel one here. So again, talking about the, the posability, right? Yeah, you can you can get that sort of thing, but the the thing that I like about this one here is that his legs are good. Like, this is the problem with the DC Icons figure here. The leg, you can't get it straight. So like, if you bring it up, it curves, which is the problem with the DC Icons figures. There's a little bit of a joint here, but like, I'm very afraid to twist because I'm afraid it's gonna break. So then when you have him run, he looks really stupid when he runs. Like, <laughs> there's not really much posability with the DC Icon figures, unfortunately. Like, not great build. The look of this one is much better, honestly, than the other Flash, which is why I'm showcasing this one instead of the original Flash action figure. But it's a, uh, we can't even like twist his, um, twist his mid part here, so it's like, it's not a great action figure. I mean, when you look at this one over here, like you can really get the perfect running. Like that's how it should look when he runs. Well, not like perfectly. I'm like doing it like quick, but like the, it does, he has a better running stance, so to speak. Anyways, guys, that is my review, my two cents on these action figures from The Flash. Let me know what you guys think. Did you end up getting any of these? Did you get this old, the old one from back when you were a kid? Did you find this one in store for a decent price or did you, you know, pay the little premium price to get that $60 Flash action figure? Yeah, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it was a long video, three action figures to review, but there you go. Follow me here on my channel as well as follow me on my Instagram at little underscore nerd underscore busters. Until next time, guys. Adios.